It costs to be a boss, ain't a damn thing free I'm looking like money, all eyes on me I'm in love with my money, what it do, what it is, what it do, what it is. Y'all already know. Shoebox down south. Mine gone. Vault 23. Another dope sneaker review. Okay, I ain't gonna hold y'all long. It's not gonna be elaborate, but I have been trying to cook and think about different ideas of how to make a video, you know, around the same realm, but a little bit different than everybody else. But <laughs> I'm just gonna go and give y'all my opinion on these. Y'all know your boy be cooking. Every time I be late, on a video, you know, I'm cooking. This shoe came out two days ago, and I was brainstorming on how to catch y'all attention and just do something different than everybody else's and everything. But let's get on into this shoe. Okay, you got your Air Jordan box. Y'all already know that big uh, jump man right there. Box label reads, Air Jordan 7 Retro SC Colorway Black. What's that? Uh, Cherrywood Red 11. Is my size personal pair? Y'all already know this was a finish line early access, um, exclusive access, whichever one you want to call it. Uh, pick up right here. These shoes low key limited because not all stores got them, and they were sitting on Nike, but not all stores got them. So I think Nike trying to keep more pairs for themselves. Let's go and get into this shoe. You got your uh, lot number right there on the side of the box. You got this black tissue paper, whatever, plastic, whatever you want to call it. And this is the shoe. Air Jordan 7. And they was, they was calling these black olives. Yeah. Um, let me put this box down right quick. Uh, this is a light olive uh, colorway on this toe box and around uh, the side of the shoe. This is a medium uh, dark olive shirt that I got on. And everything but uh this shoe is very very light green if uh, you want to just say it like that got that bottom is black cherry wood red right there gold hints of jump man same kind of uh cardinal on the cardinal jump man on the shoe for that uh midsole is all blacked out with that cherry wood red and it's like a, a gold color colorway right there you know the peaks and everything and uh we're gonna get into a little bit of uh up close and personal because i gotta explain this to you this uh toe box all the way up these eye stays uh if you're not seeing it too good but this is all one piece and this black suede overlay is laid over it it's like a light suede right here and a thicker suede right here this is sort of a plastic um overlay on this way i don't know if, uh but the, the way it feels it feels plastic or uh, uh, i know it's kind of painted on i'm gonna say acrylic that's what i call it acrylic same way back here all this is is, is a thicker suede but this is acrylic paint overlaid on this with these designs and you got that uh up here on, on the anchor collar you got the cherrywood jump man right there back tab got the nike air stitched in in gold this is i love this i love this y'all watch this shoe gonna go up in value and i don't like to talk value on here but a lot of people letting these shoes sit or trying to wait they're gonna sell and everything me i gotta get mine off top i ain't trying to wait on all it because i might end up missing it <laughs> but uh this nike air on the back you got your pull tab with these kind of uh afro afro centric or african um designs right here on here and i noticed on somebody else's video the quality is going down because you see how this pull tab is off center on this shoe it's straight up and down on this shoe and somebody else's pair like that, that i saw a video of it but i'm like jordan brand ain't, ain't paying no attention to this you know but let's go get around to the medial side of the shoe the same exact uh, you got that cherry wood uh, modern piece right here these do have gold aglets on the laces. But no jump man or anything on it. It's just uh, gold aglets on it. That's a nice hit. Since the Cardinals had gold aglets on the, uh, uh, well, silver aglets 
on the original version of them, where well, the original retro of the shoes, and then this net last retro they gave us, it didn't have Agnes on it. I don't know what John Brand doing, but uh, somebody, they need to go ahead on and uh, tell them to do some research before they re retro these shoes. We need the exact same shoe, but we love them. Just keep on coming with the throwbacks. We love that. Let me get up to these eye stays. <laughs> you got that um, perforated tongue, going up that nylon tongue with the uh, black laces laced in there. No extra laces came with this uh, shoe. With these colors on this tongue, it sort of puts you in the mind of, uh, say, African colors. <laughs> But you got that cherry wood, Air Jordan, stitched in that tongue right there. Let's take this shoe to y'all. And uh, take out the paper. Oh, y'all know. Uh, and this ain't a shoe tree, it's an uh, ankle box holder, I guess. That's what you would call it. We don't get shoe trees no more. <clears throat> Nike, I'm going to say it in every one of my videos. Just the insole you're going to get in the shoe. It's uh, all black with the white uh, printed uh, jump man on there and your size sticker. The stitching and time. Production date is uh, 05 11 22 to 07 26 22. Uh, so, two month run on this shoe. We got it in uh, 23. Why we didn't get this shoe earlier? We just getting this shoe in 23 and this shoe was made about six months ago but anyway that's just a look okay this is kind of vintage i forgot about got to say that i'm telling this is kind of vintage on the tongue this way it's kind of um like 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 blotted out you see those little right there like a like a, a wash shirt wash for uh, a whole bunch of times and the, everything starts fading but well, that's also um blended in the colorways of the tongue they, they did they put some some quality and creativity into this shoe same as they did the afro beat shoe but at the same time i'm still irritated by this lopsided pull tab this is this yeah this the one the lopsided pull tab has got me but i love the shoe i'm gonna keep it I'm happy to welcome it to the collection along with the rest of his brothers and sisters and cousins and nieces and <laughs> all that. Wait, 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 wait. I almost forgot. I do have a bonus unboxing because I wanted to do it on camera with y'all, but this was a sneakers pickup from last week, you know. And it's a shoe y'all already know I did a video on, uh, but I did double up and I received this shoe last week. Um, and I didn't even open the box. I said, I'm going to open it up on camera to see just what my double up looked like. Did, it, did the sneakers pair come as great as the uh, in-store pickup did? So, I'm just going to give y'all this little hint right quick. Y'all already know. Air Jordan 2. Air Jordan 2, the OGs. I, I reviewed a size 11.5. But this is my 11 that I hit on sneakers with. You got your little uh, booklet. I just wanted to check these out on camera with y'all, since y'all are my fan. Oh, kind of crispy, kind of crispy. Got a few wrinkles right there. Um, don't look like nobody tried it on or anything. But uh, I just, I guess it's just the materials and the way they, the quality control on sneakers nowadays is just pitiful sometimes. Okay, this shoe is better than this one. Y'all can notice the difference, or am I being just too, um, too specific? When we pay money for these shoes. You see how that shoe is wrinkled right there? You see how this one is way smoother. But um, this is a dope colorway. Love the way uh, they made them, they remade them, you know. And um, I will be rocking these sometime kind of soon. I'm gonna stick my feet in them to see 
in one of them at least to see how tight it fits and everything. That 11 and a half was fitting like 11, so this is size 11. It might fit like a 10 and a half. Either which way it go, I'm gonna keep it. But once again, love y'all. See y'all later.